Hello, in this session, I'll be showing you how to use the text tool, the alignment tool, and how to work with layers. And lastly, how to import an image and add a, a little effect on it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is create a new project. And the ratio that I will go with is 1920 for the height and 1080 for the width. The frame rate, I'm gonna keep at 24. And the platform type, Action Script 3.0. Create. The first thing that I'm going to show you is the text tool. So let's try hello. I could change the font and I could choose any font that I want to use. I could change the weight of the font. So for me medium bold or extra bold. And I could also change the color from here. Let's go with pink and then the size so let's go with 100 and I could also if I had a paragraph change the alignment and I could also add a filter to this font so under here when you go under um, at the bottom of the panel you could click at the add icon and you can see the different effects that can be added to this text so let's try drop shadow and make the distance 10 and the shadow to be grayish. So now if I click, you could see my text and it has a shadow. Okay. Now, once you're happy with your text and let's say you wanted to duplicate this text, what you could do is select your text and then copy to copy command C and then command V to paste. Another way to copy and paste is to click on your element, whether it's a text or a shape, and then hit option. And when you drag, while you're hitting option, you can duplicate the element. Option and then drag, this is how you duplicate. Okay, let's remove this. Now this is the text tool. Let's say um, you're working with um, a design and you wanted to make the alignment of your objects to be kind of more structured, more aligned, more distributed in a more neat, neatly way. So you're gonna select your shapes or text or images and you're gonna open up the window alignment panel and then you could align them horizontally or vertically or um, align them to the edge. So choose whatever alignment that you want to work with. So let's go with align to center and notice how they aligned in a horizontal layout. You could also distribute them with the same gaps, okay? So this is how you use the alignment tool. You could also align your elements onto the stage. So if I check this box and I align them to the center, they're gonna be aligned to the center of my stage, okay? So this is how to use the alignment tool. Now, Let's say you're working with Adobe Animate and you're going to do a complicated design. If you did everything in one layer, it's going to be hard to work with because the shapes will be cutting other shapes and the overlapping is going to be very complicated. So the way to do this is to work with layers. Now, currently we're working with only one layer and I could change the name of the layer. So let's call it background. And I could add new layers. And layers are basically like, let's say you're looking at something from the top view. If I was looking at the desk from the top view, the first layer is going to be the ground, the second layer is going to be the table, and then the third layer is going to be the laptop. So it's things that are stacked on top of things. So in this sense, um, I have the background in the first layer. Let me draw a rectangle. Now just align it here and I could use the transform tool to slightly just expand this slightly at the top if you hit option while you're expanding something it's only going to be expanded in one part of the shape if I expand it without hitting option I'm going to be expanding the overall shape so I'll just keep it at that I'm going to change the color to black oh Okay, so I have my background and then you could lock it in. I like to, when I'm working with layers, always lock in the layers that I'm not going to be touching. 
So now I, I lock the layer because I don't want to accidentally mess it up. And then the next layer, I'm going to name it um, shape. And I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to do an oval. Okay, so currently it's black, so you can't really see it. Let's change it to um, this purple color. Okay, now this is the shape. I'll lock it in and I'm going to create a new layer. So I'm adding layers by clicking this plus icon and I'm going to have this as the text. I'm going to change the color of the text to white. And I'm just going to make it to 200. Yeah, 200. And I could add this up in whatever part of my design that I want. Okay, so now I have three layers, text, shape, background. And the way that it works, so let's say I wanted to delete a layer. I could click the layer and then click trash, the trash icon. So delete to, to delete the layer. Let's undo. Um, now, I told you that the layers work as if you're looking at the top perspective. If I moved this layer, the text layer, under the shape layer, it's going to be between the shape and the background. Okay, so this is how you work. Let's say you wanted to hide one element, one layer. You're going to click this hide icon. It's like an eye with a cross. So if I click hide to the shape, it's going to be hidden. Okay, and then you could unhide it. And then if I'm going to work with this layer, I'm going to unlock it to adjust the elements. Now, if I click the circle and try to move it, I won't be able to move it because it's locked. If I unlock it, now I can move it around. Okay, now uh, let's delete everything. Creep one layer. If I wanted to import an image, I'm going to click File, Import, Import to Stage. If I import it to the stage, it's going to immediately be imported to the layer that I'm working with. If I import to the library, it's going to be imported to my library panel. So let's just immediately import it to the stage. And I have this sketch of a wireframe. I'm going to import it. And then I'm going to use the free transform tool to just increase the size. Um, and I want to trace this image and create a wireframe, a more neater wireframe. So I'm going to select the image. And then in the properties panel, I'm going to click frame. And I'm just going to go down and go to color effects and click the alpha. There are multiple options where you could choose from. For this case, I'm going to choose alpha. And now if you notice that the opacity is changing. Okay, so now I'm happy because I don't want it to be very opaque while I'm tracing it because I want to focus on the layer. So this layer one is the template template it's a schedule and then I'm going to create a new layer and this is going to be wireframe number one okay this is locked now I could start tracing my wireframe I'm going to make with, with no fill and maybe a um, black outline and then I'm going to start to draw okay if you're not happy with the stroke double click and then increase the stroke and then I'm going to create small boxes. And then um, option to copy. And I'll move this around. Option to copy. Okay. And then to make sure that it distributes it nicely, I'm going to click Window, Alignment Tool. And I'll distribute them like this. Oops not aligned to stage because I just want them to be aligned in their space. Okay, so select and then option, duplicate. Okay, you could also distribute them between themselves, um, but I just want to give you an idea. Let's say I'm drawing a line and I want this line to be dotted. The way to manipulate lines is to go to the properties panel then I could increase the size of the stroke and I could also change make it dashed or dotted or even like a sketched line okay just make this smaller I'll just keep it like this 
Okay, so this is how you work with it. Once you're done with the template, delete the sketch and then file, export, export image, and then save it to your desktop or whatever place that you want to save it in. Save, and we are done.